When we did uh, the in concert show, in the afternoon, we rehearsed with the camera crew to show them what we were going to do, where we were going to do it. When we finally came out, it was clear the camera crew were blindsided. All of a sudden, we're in makeup, they don't have a clue where to go, what to shoot. They were oblivious to what was going on. I remember one of the problems we had with our live show was that there was usually so much smoke that at some point during the filming, you couldn't see anybody. So that must have caused havoc, you know, for the director. Also, that coupled with the fact that if we did a run-through in the afternoon, the run-through during the afternoon was without makeup and with us being fairly stationary, uh, it hit him like a ton of bricks when we suddenly came out, you know, seven feet tall and uh, ready to, to run the Olympics. I not only remember doing this, we shared the stage with Redbone, which was in a, a Native American Indian band that had a hit song called Witch Queen of New Orleans, and then they had another one called, um, yeah, Come and Get Your Love, Come and Get Your Love. So they were on the bill too. And with all respect to those guys, you see, it's always interesting. You always say with all respect when you're about to like slug somebody. So with all respect to them, they were just booed. And uh, we did some subsequent shows with them. Uh, additionally and more importantly, I remember looking at the audience and there were bands on before us and after us. It was Cool and the Gang and Melissa Manchester and a lot of very interesting bands. Everybody sat for the entire show. There's a moment when we go into Firehouse, when the camera's back, all of a sudden one member of the audience stands, then another, then the entire audience stands on its feet for the first and only time through all the bands. I remember coming back to the hotel from a show in New Jersey, near Atlantic City, and rushing back to the hotel with the guys so that we could turn on ABC's in concert and see ourselves on TV. We had just come from playing a club, and here we were, you know, on national television, playing for uh, millions of people who were viewing it at that time. I remember the first time I saw the fireworks that they had added to this, and it reminded me of a show called Love American Style. And I figured they must have gotten it from there. They, it, was, it was very corny, and I guess they were trying to um, communicate to the audience uh, uh, and viewers at home that this was bombastic and there were all kinds of effects. But I watched it and thought, this is that opening shot from Love American Style. Yeah. 